Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wingstop Poppy back at you guys in another video. Now, in today's video, we actually have a pretty special sneaker unboxing because I actually had to go line up for these shoes today. And it is a pair of New Balances. But before we get into these beautiful New Balances, please hit that like and subscribe. And feel free to follow me on Instagram below to see how I freak these beautiful sneakers. But yeah, so let's just get right into it. So as you guys know, this today is Saturday, Saturday of All-Star Weekend. All-Star Weekend is here in the beautiful city of Chicago. And one of... Uh, Chicago's fashion designers Joe Fresh Goods was able to collaborate with New Balance on a special collection called the No Emotions Our Emotions collection which featured Kawhi Leonard so it was like the big New Balance campaign for this weekend and yeah so they let Joe do a New Balance 992 a Kawhi Leonard shoe and a uh, full apparel collection as well so today I actually went to go line up they dropped yesterday by the way but I wasn't able to go because I had work so I figured I'd wake up early this morning and go line up and see if I could get a pair. Now I figured that they would all be sold out because it was a very popular shoe. Line was like wrapped around the block yesterday. And I figured they were not going to have any shoes left. So I figured I was just going to be picking up close because I actually really like the apparel. But they actually had a few sizes left. They actually only had 11 and a half left. So I just decided to pick it up. I know I'm a 10 and a half, but I figured, hey, I just waited four hours. I might as well pick it up, do the review, and then sell it, and I'll get my size. So that's exactly what I did. So without further ado, let's just break this shoe out. And here it is, a New Balance 992. Now, this is my first time ever owning a 992. So that's a new experience for me. My only New Balances are 990s. So I really don't really know like the history of the 992. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I do like the style of the shoe. And I mostly bought the shoe because it's a Joe Fresh Goods and I mess with his stuff. And I also like New Balance as well. As you saw in my last video, I did the Stray Rats 990 V3. So it was kind of just like a match made in heaven for me. And I mean, come on, this colorway is fire. Like, there were a lot of dope releases All-Star Weekend. But honestly, this was probably my favorite release. If I would have took L's on all the Nike and Jordan stuff but still got this shoe, especially in my size, I would have been pretty happy. And by the way, this these shoes do come with like three pairs of spare four total but you get three pairs of extra spare lace you get the baby blue you get the white and you get like this i don't know i don't even know what color this is but it's on the shoe it's like a, a lighter lavender purple violet something whatever but anyways let's just get into the shoe because this is what you guys came to see as you can see let's just start with the front because this has a lot of different they have three main materials of the shoe it's going to be suede it's going to be mesh it's going to be leather so we'll just start the toe cap and work our way through because they did a bunch of layering on this shoe which is how the 992 is set up in general but anyways suede on the toe cap then we got like that purple mesh like i just said the laces and then we have like a lighter pink like a rose colored pink and then we got the red suede up here and then we got leather and then we have a like purplish tongue with leather on top that says it has dvm on it which means don't be mad which is joe fresh goods clothing brand which the collaboration was with then we work our way we got a pink midsole with a rose pink new balance n i don't know the exact colors of these shoes i'm just saying they're different hues of pink and it's like a bright varsity red or it's like a dark like heart red like just the color, it's like a valentine's day shoe which is it and i know it came out on valentine's day i'm sure that had something to do with the colorway but yeah it's pretty much like a valentine's day new balance 992 but anyways these are absolutely insane i absolutely love these so uh, to finish off the back of the shoe we got more mesh we got more leather and yeah more suede and then of course usa on the back and then like a new balance um not sure what material this is kind of seems like it's like carbon fiber back here. We got a black midsole with a black outsole, which I absolutely love. That means you could wear these all the time and they re really won't get dirty. But yeah, I had to grab these just because I love Joe's stuff. As you can see, I'm wearing a Don't Be Mad sweatshirt right now. And I've been starting to get back into New Balances. Like you guys know, I like the 990s. And this is my first 990, uh, 992. So I figured why not like pick these up of course like i had to represent chicago when i bought these so yeah these are absolutely amazing i just wish i would have got my size i need a 10 and a half asap so i can 
like get some fits off in these because these absolutely go crazy on feet from what I've seen in pictures. And New Balance, once again, if you guys watched my Straight Razz video, I was like, New Balance is a brand to watch out for in 2020. Because if they keep doing dope collaborations like this, I mean, they're going to bring notice. I mean, these are absolutely insane. The Stray Rats are insane. The AMA Leon doors went hard. Both the AMA Leon doors went hard. The concepts go hard. I mean, New Balance is killing it. If they continue this streak, I mean, I'm not saying they're going to overtake like Nike, Virgil, Travis Scott, anything like that, but they're going to make some people turn their heads and these will turn people's heads. I guarantee you wear these on the streets. People will be like, damn, those are some fire New Balances. And I, I just feel like everyone who, like, you don't even have to like New Balance. This is a beautiful shoe. Like, just this colorway in general is absolutely gorgeous. And it's made in the USA. And you know you're getting premium quality with this shoe. Like, this suede is so nice. You got that booty backstroke motion on the suede. So you can, I mean, you don't get, you don't get this kind of suede like on Nike shoes all the time either. Now, this shoe was $260, which is a little bit pricey. And I'm not really sure on the fit. Obviously, I got a size I got one size up because that's all they had. I, I tried it on. I tried to make it work. It's just too It's just too big. The heel, like, yeah, it's just too big. I, I wish I could make it work, but I just can't. It's just too big. But, yeah, I believe they run true to size, though. So if you're looking for these on the aftermarket, I would just go true to size. And once again, like I said with New Balance, I mean, you get what you pay for. Like, these are $260, but these shoes were $260. This leather's premium, the suede's premium, the mesh is premium. It's a comfortable shoe. And by the way, I should mention the insole. Let's see if I can get this up. It says, New Balance, don't be mad. No emotions are emotions. And they actually use Kawhi Leonard for this campaign. Obviously, you guys know Kawhi's in the All-Star Game. He's sponsored by New Balance. So they actually use him for this campaign. So it just made perfect sense because we all know Kawhi Leonard is not like, he's just like, he's not a very emotional person. He, like, he doesn't show his emotions ever. So he was just like the perfect person for this campaign. And I really wish I would have picked up some of the apparel. I just kind of like went in there today and I saw that they still had the shoes. And I, I don't know, I just like didn't even think about picking up any clothes. I kind of want to go back tomorrow, but we'll see. But yeah, one last look at these. Like I said, these are absolutely gorgeous. If anyone is out there watching this that has a 10 and a half and they want to hook me up, please like comment. I need that 10 and a half. Um, even if you don't want the 11 and a half, if you have a 10 and a half and you're watching this, please hit me up. I absolutely need them as soon as possible. So yeah, um, these are absolutely gorgeous. Probably my favorite shoe to drop All-Star Weekend. What else? Like I say, Joe absolutely killed these. New Balance killed these. New Balance is keeps killing the game and yeah that's all i gotta say appreciate you guys watching the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace